Okay, it's Diane and I'm back with the rest of the flea market haul. I'm going to do the books. Um, I bought a few books and then I'll show you probably the best deal of the day. And they are books. But I got this one, it was only $2.50. Usually these kind of books, these old vintage school books are quite expensive, but this is in pretty bad shape. So it was only $2.50, but I can use the pictures. They're very, very cute. And I got the Fred Waring Golden, Olden Goldie Songbook. And I probably won't cut this up. Hmm. Because my parents moved into uh, an apartment building last year with senior citizens. And I go and they there's a piano in their common room. And I go and play the piano for them sometimes. And these are good old songs that I think they would enjoy. So I'll probably just be using this to play for them. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> this was a really good find. A 1961 Mother Goose book and it was only $2. It's a Eloise Wilkins Little Golden Book. This is the kind of Little Golden Book that is usually priced high. And usually I don't, I think this is the first time I've come across this one. But because it's Mother Goose and it's Eloise Wilkin and it's 1961, it was definitely worth the two dollars. And I have never seen this, like I said, out, you know, shopping for books. It's one of those rare ones. Another one that I never see was my favorite book when I was a child. And it was uh, Eloise Wilkins' um, illustrations of Robert Louis Stevenson's A Child's Garden of Verses. And it was a little golden book. And Renee from GT Designs offered it with a... She had a bundle of three Eloise Wilkins Little Golden Books, and it included that one. And I had to buy it because of that book. I'm going to make myself a journal out of that book, but the other two Eloise Wilkins books I will make a journal to sell. And this one I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I just think it's beautiful. And then I got this. I paid more for this than I normally do for, uh, for old books, but it's called Those Great Movie Ads. And it has such great pictures in it. They're all black and white, I think. But they're the old movie posters. Funny Girl. Carmen Jones. Unconquered with Gary Cooper and Paulette Goddard. The Prodigal. Oh my goodness, that looks kind of racy. House of Wax. Anyway, if I do an old Hollywood journal, I did one uh, for a swap uh, a couple years ago, a few years ago, I think. Um, but if I did another one, these would be great. And I could probably um, just put together little packs of these pictures and put them in my shop. Because there's a lot in there. So now, <clears throat> the deal of the day. First, let me tell you what the cop... And even look, look at the end papers. That is so awesome. I just want to look at the date of this actual book, 1972. <clears throat> the deal of the day was I found this bag of books sitting on the floor of the, you see how big it is? Um, sitting on the floor of the, the vendor that had this book. No prices could I find, but there was a $3 sticker stuck on the outside of the bag. So I took it up. And he said he didn't think that that sticker belonged there, but he called her, told her what I was looking at, and then she said, well, let her have it for the $3. So I got all of these books for $3. I'll save this bag last. The bag was in the bag. Oh, these were within the bag. Okay. So some of these I don't want, but I just took the whole bag for $3. So there's the cat and the hat comes back. I love Dr. Seuss, but I don't cut them up and use them in journals. 
I, I have a collection of Dr. Seuss books. The Illustrated Treasury of Children's Literature. This book cover is in really bad shape, all very warped, but it's got awesome pictures. Let me, let me try adjusting this again. I'm just having trouble getting this right. There's Dr. Seuss right there. So this has a lot of pages that I can use. That'll be fun. But I probably wouldn't have picked it up and bought it if it was on its own. This one I wouldn't have gotten, but your body, bones and muscles, and it does have some interactive things in it, so I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to use this somehow. See, look at this. I could learn something from it, probably. Oh, look at this. This is awesome. Uh, maybe I'll have to use this for Halloween, a Halloween journal. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I'm going to move on because my flash battery is flashing at me. Don't I say that with every video? Little Lost Angel, a Rand McNally elf book. It's in rough shape. But I think the pages inside are good. I'm not sure if I could use the cover or not. It might be bent. Um, the Brave Little Duck. This one is so cute, and it's a wonder book. So adorable. And a cowboy book. And I've got some of that cowboy fabric. Uh, the Christmas Story. I think I already have one of these. And this is Eloise Wilkin illustrations. A snowman book that I can put in Christmas journals. And Peter and the Wolf. This is an old... I don't even think it's a golden book. It just says Walt Disney's Mickey Mouse Club Books. The, the cover is bent here on the corner, so it's not in very good shape. And it's 1947. Looks just like a little golden book, but it's not. I don't think I ever saw Disney books like this. I think it must have been made, you know, published by the same company that did same publishing house that did the Golden Book. And then there was this bag within the bag. Remember, all of these were $3. So I got the Big Brown Bear Golden Book. This is an old one. It's got markings on the front. 1947. And it's got a very soft corner here, but that can be reinforced. The back is torn. Hideaway Animals, cute little book. Tim and His Train. Tommy on the Farm. This one doesn't look as old, it's 1968. So it's not new. The Children Who Stayed Alone. Just a paperback from Scholastic Book Service. I remember getting Scholastic books. We could order them from school. Happy Ranch pre-primer. So this could be again in a cowboy book. Curious George. I probably won't use that one. All Things Bright and Beautiful, a storybook for little children. So this is really cute. It's um, about the Bible and going to church. My Goldfish. This is a Ding Dong School 
book and it is in kind of a bad shape. I don't think I would use it, at least not the cover. Because the cover is pretty rough. Frosty the Snowman. 1951. I think I could use that one. This one, unfortunately, is very bent, but look at that gorgeous cover. Prayers for Children, a little golden book. Look at that. Just illustrations. Rachel Taft Dixon. 1942. These are beautiful. Seven Dwarves Find a House. 1952. I don't think I've ever seen this one. And then Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. 1948. My Cowboy Book. And Beatrix Potter, Meet Peter Rabbit, but it's a board book, so I probably won't use that. So that was the books. Um, and then the miscellaneous items that I got. I'll move them over here so I'm not reaching in front of the camera. I got Post Serial Critter Cards. I guess you can play various games with it. Go to the zoo, Lucky Linus and Crazy Critters. So there's Linus. I don't know this one. I'm not familiar with these post-serial characters. Linus the Ringmaster. He seems familiar. Ella. Gogo. I don't know any of these guys. But they're cute cards. Rhonda. Horatio. I wonder what kind of cereal they were on. It must have been a promotion because it's got an address on it. Auburn, New York. Somebody must have uh, gotten it free with their box tops. It's pretty cute. I wonder if it has a date. I guess not. Not that I can see. So, I thought that was cute. And then I got some more stickers. And I'm, I have enough sticker books that I'm going to be putting some stickers in my shop. I got some Valentine's ones. These are Eureka. 36. They look unused. Butterfly seals. I may have one like this already. And two birds. And they're all Eureka. I got one of these. And I can cut this into several sections and use it in my domestic arts journals. It's a yarn sample card. And the lady gave me this for free. Um, vintage. And these are also Eureka Christmas gift tags. They were in a bag with other Christmas items that I didn't really want. There was some wrapping paper, but then there were some other things that I wouldn't use. And um, she said something. It was only $3, so I was going to get it. And I would use this and the wrapping paper. And she asked me if I wanted something else. Like, I have more of these things. It was like a gift container that was in the bag. And I said, no, all I really want are these. And she said, oh, well, just take them. I said, really? And she said, yeah. So she gave them to me for free. She also gave me something else, which I'm coming to. Um, Christmas stencil kit. I think this was... 50 cents or else it was a dollar. I thought these would be cute in Christmas journals or actually to spray through them, decorate on the Christmas journals. Oh, these aren't Christmas. Bonus. They're kind of waxy so that you can use them more than once. There's a candy cane and a wreath. Happy Holiday, a bell and a star, 
the nativity and the reindeer santa and the reindeer they're cute this is what she gave me for free she had it behind the counter <clears throat> she said i won't sell it because it's been used i said well you, you could sell that and she said well it's got tape on it remnants of tape and so she just asked if i would want it and she gave it to me so it's vintage wrapping paper and when she said it's been used, I thought she meant it, it wasn't whole pieces, but I see, and she did say it has tape on it, so it's got old cellophane on it, but I can cut around those pieces. Boy, this is like almost like a glassine paper. That's really pretty. There's a blue stripe. Oh, this one's wilted. It's not with stitching, but pressed. That's really neat looking. Uh, this one. Polka dots. Wedding paper. And that one looks pretty old. Birthday paper. And wedding paper. This feels like, like kind of like a heavy, um, tissue paper. It's very pretty. I could cut those circles out and use them in um, wedding journals. Got two more things to show you. This is just a package of vintage stationery. It's, uh, the box says the Spirit of St. Louis. I'm going to open it and show you. quite plain, but it's really nice quality paper. It's just got this thin burgundy border around it. But on here is kind of, I guess it's the front. Oh, it's in, you open it up. It's on the inside of the envelope. So there's the spirit of St. Louis, Charles Lindbergh's plane. The rest is completely plain. <laughs> Aren't they pretty though? The paper, you can't feel the quality of the paper and the envelopes too. Very nice quality paper. But the box is cool. And the last thing is rice paper silk effect napkins. So it's got, the box says it has. Thirty luncheon napkins and thirty cocktail napkins. And I was intrigued by the rice paper. It does feel napkiny, but it's really, really sheer. So I don't think you would have to peel these. So obviously they would be in Christmas journals, and I'll put some of these in my shop too. They're very delicate, very pretty. So that does it for the flea market haul for today. Thank you for coming along with me. Tell me what you think. Um, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And um, please let me know if you're interested in chenille. I'm, I'm not going to say it's going to be in the shop next week or even next month, but it might be. So just let me know if it's something that you are interested in me putting together and uh, watch for other things to be showing up in my shop. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.